What's up guys, today I'm going to be talking about resistive touchscreens versus capacitive touchscreens. So one example of a resistive touchscreen that you might have seen is the um, bottom touchscreen on a 3DS and you can tell because this is made of plastic and it bends in wherever you touch it. An example of a capacitive touchscreen would be on any of the uh, newer or current smartphones. So now I'll go into depth. So a resistive touchscreen uses a number of layers and works by using the amount of pressure applied to the screen. When the screen is pressed, the other layer is pushed onto the next layer and then um, input is registered. You can use your finger, your fingernail, a stylus, or any other object. And now for the capacitive touchscreen. This works by using the conductive properties of an object, usually the skin on your finger. These usually are made of glass and do not rely on pressure. This makes it more responsive to things like swiping and pinching. These can only be operated by using a finger. So thanks for watching guys. That's it for this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to get notified when new stuff like this comes out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.